It is a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. What a career this man has carved out since his time on The Ultimate Fighter. Won season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter and picked up exactly where he left off, dusting qualified lightweights left and right, finishing nearly everyone along his path to contention. Tony Ferguson, at some point, you gotta think, Joe, will find that UFC belt right around his waist. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Yeah. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go. it is a building long on combat sports tradition and mixed martial arts, certainly making its presence felt here as we get underway at Madison Square Garden in New York City. So ever since winning season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, the finishes have continued to pile up for Tony Ferguson. He is must-see TV, as offensively gifted as any fighter on the roster, and has as good a cardio department as anybody on the roster. We'll see how Ferguson chooses to approach this particular challenge tonight. Unable to connect with the right hand there. 
All right, so here we go. First round is underway as a submission specialist. Look for him to go for the early takedown attempt. He's going to want to take this fight to the ground, at least at some point, and try to set up a submission. Oh, oh he's oh. This could be it right here. That knee might have landed there. Boy, Ty Plum. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tony Alcapuri Ferguson! Well, what else can you say about Tony Ferguson? Came in with the longest winning streak in lightweight history and only extends it here tonight. This is a finisher of the highest order. Switches, stances beautifully, all pressure all the time. And he's so unorthodox, you don't really know what's coming. All you know is that it's going to be nonstop aggression for 25 minutes or fewer. Tony Ferguson remaining a major threat here in this UFC lightweight division.